Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Home Tastic by Rizwana. In this video, I am going to share with you a couple of easiest DIYs that can enhance the look of your kitchen and easily can be done by yourself. And also few hacks to add some space in your kitchen and organize your things efficiently. So here the first DIY is I have taken this old pan. You might be having this kind of old pans in your home but don't throw them away. Just apply some gesso or any white color paint on it for as a first layer and on top of it use any color of your choice. Here I have used this light pink color and on this I want to put this cup in the center. In order to hang the cup on the tawa I need a hook. So to attach that hook I have used a rallet here because it's very strong it can hold heavy weights also and once it is dry i'll hang this cup here as this is a ceramic cup the color of this cup was not going well with the pan so again i have used acrylic paint on this and i'm putting some dots randomly on this cup i got this cup offline but i'll try to find if there is link available online as well to cover the sides of the tawa i am using this decoupage napkin and as you all know, I have shown in many videos uh, the way I use this decoupage napkins. You have to carefully remove the layers and paste it on the surface. And once you are done, apply one more layer of decoupage glue. Covering this handle with jute lace. And here I am writing tea time. These are some simplest and easiest uh, DIYs that you can make to decorate your kitchen. So this is almost done. And as a final step applying varnish on this and here it is ready now let's decorate here in the kitchen do let me know how do you like this DIY now moving on to the next one this is going to be the quickest and easiest DIY if you have this kind of old plastic containers you can make a nice utensil holder out of it Paint this container with any color of your choice. I am using sponge to give a nice texture and on top of it I am just writing utensils. And that's it, it's ready. I have covered the top part with the jute twine again and here is my utensil holder. Isn't it the easiest DIY that you can make in your kitchen and make it look aesthetic? And here as you can see if we put jars like this we cannot use some vertical space here right so in order to add some space here we can use this kind of plastic basket and put the jars inside the basket and on top of the basket also we can utilize the space to keep any lightweight plastic containers so the next amazing hack is if you have seen this kind of section hooks these are very helpful in your kitchen first and i didn't believe that this can hold a lot of weight but when i tried it was so amazing so you can attach this kind of suction hooks on the tiles and you can hang this kind of utensils to that hook so this is the best way to utilize the space on the kitchen tiles and you can easily remove them you need not to attach any stickers also and you don't have to deal with that mess so with this kind of simple diys and hacks we can keep our kitchen neat and organized and also decorated And the next hack is you might be keeping this kind of big rice containers on the floor right which makes us difficult to clean so to avoid that we can use this kind of planter stands which you can get at a very affordable price like 200 or maybe below that so we can put this kind of big rice containers on this kind of stands now this becomes easy to access and clean as well This is my sister's kitchen which you all liked so much it went viral when I posted. I am showing it again just to let you know that it is still the same it hasn't changed. It all depends on how well and neatly we maintain it all the time. And the next quick and beautiful DIY is you might be having this kind of cute jars but the lids are worn out. We need not to throw them away or replace and buy any new jars. We can still make them new again and beautiful also. So here I have taken fevicryl molded clay. I am rolling it like a round 
chapati take any other lid of bigger size and cut it now just spread this clay on this lid it should look like as if we have laid any cloth on the lid i am repeating the same for the other one also here i am showing it for only two jars but if you have this kind of jars you can try this and it's going to look amazing and with the leftover clay i have made this kind of two round balls just to attach as a knob on the lid now once the lid is dry paint it with any color of your choice here i am using red and for the knob i am using gold color and here are my cute little jars ready let me know how do you like this one and the next beautiful diy is we all might be having this kind of steel spice container as it's looking little dull and boring we can enhance its look by painting it with any color of our choice maybe dark colors look better so here i am using acrylic paints but here the point to be noted is we should be using enamel paint but i didn't have that so i just wanted to try acrylic on it so first paint the whole box with one color after painting i'll be applying varnish also just to protect it from moisture or any water but if we use enamel paint we won't be having that problem maybe next time i'll definitely try with enamel paint and here for design first i tried with stencil but it wasn't coming well as the surface is not flat so again i used it like i just made free hand painting like this and it's looking far better than the stencil now i'll make some random design on the lid as well So once these are dry completely I am applying varnish and let the varnish also dry now it's ready This is my favorite DIY of the day let me know which DIY you liked the most and I hope you liked this video today and if you have really liked this and found it useful please press the like button and in case you are new to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel as i'll be coming up with most affordable and realistic home decor home makeover videos every week and don't forget to put your thoughts in the comment section so that's all for today friends let's meet in the next video until then bye bye and take care